So we are back with another Power World video and today guys I bring you secrets that were included with the latest major update to Power World that they haven't really shared with you. These are things you may have to find yourself in game but some of these are pretty cool including a new way to breed German Tide Ignis who is a pal who previously the only way could breed this fella was breeding two other German Tide Ignis parents uh, but now there's actually an alternative way. There's also secret drops from enemies that have been in the game for a while now. We have brand new legendaries, we have new vendors and much, much more. So let's go, guys. How's it going, people? My name is DPJ. And if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps me out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Power World, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so we'll start with the new items you can unlock via blueprints. Most of these have been confirmed and spoke about in the past, but I just want to let you guys know on when and where you unlock these. So first things first, we have the monitoring stand. Now the monitoring stand obviously has been in the game for a while now, but with this update, you can now set assignment priorities for your work-based pals, which is pretty cool too. So you'll, don't forget about this, guys. It actually makes drastic differences to how fast you can get your work going at your base. So yeah, don't forget about this. The monitoring strand although it's an older item it does now have a new feature we then have the old mining site too which is ancient tech this is absolutely incredible people no need now for that old mining base at all okay so next up we have the ring of mercy this is ancient technology and unlocked a level 19 we then have the antique dresser this will allow you to change your appearance at any time you want this is ancient tech again unlocked at level 24 we have the Homeward Thundercloud. This is ancient tech unlocked at a level 30 and will allow you to use and then fast travel basically to your nearest base uh, from wherever you are on the map. We have the summoning altar. This is unlocked at a level 33. This will allow you to summon those raid bosses, but you have to do this inside of your base, by the way. So keep that in mind. I mean, when I first did this, the actual raid boss wrecked half my base. So luckily I went bothered about that base, but yeah, keep that in mind. We then guys have the ability glasses in the ancient tech tab and this is unlocked at level 34 and it allows you to see IV stats on powers before you catch them. We then guys have the electric egg incubator this is unlocked within that ancient tech at level 36 and what this does is it basically uh, auto adjusts temperatures for your eggs to get the maximum efficiency on the hatching time so yeah keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the things you may not know of because they didn't actually mention these in any patch notes or update notes or anything like that. And this is what I've learned along the way. Okay, so first things first. Did you know that the Crusher now makes those Power Souls for you? Yes, it will take Power Souls to create the bigger and better Power Souls, but at the end of the day, this is a brand new feature added with the latest major patch update to Power World that not many players are aware of. Okay, so we're going to move on to the slab fragments. Now, slab fragments are what you need to collect from the open world to then create raid boss slabs. Uh, these are done at the assembly lines, but these are what's used to summon those said raid boss bosses for you to go on and basically take on this game's ultimate end game challenge but slab fragments are few and far between in regards to where they drop but actually guys they ain't because they drop from multiple places in the game the first place is dungeon chests they're quite prominent within these Obviously though, only the chests after the dungeon boss are what can hold these as far as I'm aware. But they also guys drop quite prominently from the three sanctuary small islands found around the edges of the map. You're seeing these on screen now. Now I would just like, wait a couple of days in game, just fly around the entire map going from one of these small islands to the other. And I get quite a few of these slab fragments. So yeah guys, definitely worth your time in doing these. They can also guys drop from alpha world bosses like Jet Dragon, and I believe possibly they may be in the loot pool for every other alpha boss on the map too. I can only confirm alpha Jet Dragon because I had one drop from here myself, uh, but I'm pretty sure at least a legendary alpha world bosses in Necromus, Palladius, uh, Frostalian and Jet Dragon. These will have a chance of dropping these slab fragments for you, but if anyone else can confirm that every other alpha world boss on the map may have a chance of dropping these that'd be absolutely awesome so let us all know down below 
Now, in regards to these slab fragments, they're used to obviously create slabs for you to summon these raid bosses that are in the game. There's two at the moment, but I think people don't realize is the raid boss of Bellinor Libro, upon you defeating her, there's a chance she will drop you an egg. Upon you hatching this egg, you'll get the Bellinor Libro pal yourself to use. But this pal is a level 4 in that medicine. Which means, guys, this new pal, this new raid boss pal, is the only pal in the game with that level 4 in that medicine production. So using, obviously, the condensation machine, you can take this to a level 5. And if producing medicine in this game is something you're interested in doing, because as we know now, there's new health potions that have been added into the game, this could indeed be quite an important pal for you, so keep that in mind. Now, in regards to these new health potions you can use and create yourself at that medicine station, you will need a new material added into the game called Cavern Mushrooms. These are obtained mainly from dungeons as far as I'm aware, and each new health potion, these are required for that, so keep that in mind too. So Cavern Mushrooms can be found in and around every single dungeon I've been in so far, so pretty cool. Okay, so moving on, and we've spoke about the Mercy Ring. This is a brand new item to the game, but it's also the Multi-Climate Vest too. These are two very, very important items for the player. Now, there's actually a merchant, the Sand Merchant, found right here on the map, who sells both of these items. Yes, they're pretty expensive, but once you have them, you have them. Fisherman's Point Merchant, found right here on the map too, also sells the Mercy Ring, but not the Multi-Climate Vest. And I'm pretty sure as well there are other vendors around the map, these merchants that will also sell a couple of these items too. So yes, but if you want to buy these, which are going to be at this vendor, come to the sand merchant, like I said, and buy what you gotta buy, people. Now, in regards to merchants, you know the wandering merchants that can spawn in a few different places, not always guaranteed to be there. But actually now, guys, they've got new stock, mainly pal fluids yes you can actually buy pal fluids from the wandering merchants i found one straight away i checked his inventory saw they had pal fluids loaded up and then i thought you know what i may as well just catch this dude so that's exactly what i did i caught this dude now he's forever in my base if i ever need to purchase quick pal fluids i can do this but do not forget a new addition to Kelpsy, which was integrated within the latest update, is Kelpsy now will drop you now Pal Fluids at your ranch. So that's pretty cool too, and she drops them quite often too. Level this power up with the condensation machine, you will get even more Pal Fluids. So yeah, two new ways to get Pal Fluids, which were, I'm not going to lie, a pain in the arse to farm prior to this. So great, great changes there. Now additional changes in regards to ranch pals, and some pretty epic ones here too. Kelpsy Ignis now will produce those flame organs for you at the ranch. So if you want to leave her wandering within your base, have her ranch down, she'll drop you these flame organs. If that's what you need. Uh, we also have Doomod. He now produces high quality power oil at the ranch. This is a great, great change too. Also, Vixie, guys, the Vixie power can produce those gigaspheres and hyperspheres at the ranch. And this may be tied to the condensation machine and leveling her up, but it's still a great, great change either or, so keep that in mind. Now, sticking with vendors, NPCs and whatnot, there's actually new uh, power tamers that you can find in and around the map. I've come across newbie, master and veteran. What these are, basically what I said, they're power tamers. If you go up to them and talk to them, they will want to fight you, which is pretty cool. But yes, guys, you can actually catch these. You can catch their pals too, which is crazy. But if you do want a quick little battle to test your skills out, come and find one of these dudes. But yes, guys, there are new power tamers found in the random map again. Newbie, master and veteran are the ones I've come across so far. Now, a new change with the latest update to this game was chest filtering. Basically, you can go up to any of your chests around your base and you can filter what you want your pals to transport to them, which is a great, great change in my opinion. It allows you to organize things in a much, much better way. This isn't anything new here. People know about this. But did you guys know that this chest filtering uh, option also works on feeding boxes? What this means is if you have a feeding box within your base, you will not have to fill it up with individual items separated like honey or candy to stop your pals from transferring stuff from your crops into the feeding box. You can actually just turn it off now so you can put food into these, leave it there and turn it off so your pals will not put anything into these feeding boxes which is another great great change I didn't see them talk about so pretty cool people. 
Also, another change I may have missed, I may have spoke about this, but I may have completely skipped over it, is the fact pals can now transfer from your cookers, from your forges, from your assembly lines, from your mill, from your crusher, basically anything where you can craft a certain said item or create a certain said item, your pals can now transfer from these actual stations into your, your storage. And you do this by ticking that little box you can see right here on the screen when it comes to creating said thing. So another great new addition I haven't seen anyone talking about. Okay, so we're going to move on to new loot drops. Did you guys know that the Brothers of the Eternal Pyre can now drop Polymer? Yeah, it's a rare drop, but if you get a few of these together and you take them out, there's a chance that they can drop that Polymer, which is a great, great change in my opinion. Also guys, you know the genetic soldiers found up in and around that snowy area, these guys can also drop those circuit boards too. So pretty cool there people. Now another change and a new addition I've seen nobody else talk about is the fact now that German tied Ignis can be bred in a whole new way, not needing two German tied Ignis parents. Yes, you heard that right. This is another change I've seen no one talk about. So if you catch yourself German Tide, the Alpha Boss German Tide found on the map, and then go and get yourself a Blaze Howl, if you breed these two together now, it gives you German Tide Ignis. And what this now means is you can breed in Flame Emperor and Legend into your German Tide Ignis, which is a very, very cool addition. So keep that in mind. Yes, Blaze Howl now and the standard water type German Tide Alpha, which is the Alpha Boss, the only one you can find on the map unless you breed your own variant, but yeah, German Tide and Blaze Howl, breed these together and it now gives you a German Tide Ignis. Very, very cool change and addition in my opinion. Okay, so lastly guys, you have three brand new legendary weapons added into the game. Now there's a chance that these legendary weapons can drop from the high end chests, i.e. high end dungeon chests, the sanctuary chests, uh, uh, chests in the snow area, chests in the sandy heaty area, but guys, have also been added into the loot pool of certain Alpha World bosses you'll find on the map. First things first, we have the new Legendary Musket. This has a chance, I think it's a 3% chance, of dropping from the Alpha World boss of Quivern, seen right here on the map. So come here guys, take this boss out, and there's a chance that you'll get the blueprint for the new Legendary Musket. We also guys have a new Legendary Double Barrel Shotgun. Now this has a 3% chance of dropping from the Alpha World boss of Vela found right here on the map. Again, come here, do what you gotta do, and hopefully you get the blueprint for this drop for you. And lastly guys, you have the new legendary single shot rifle, and this has a chance of dropping, a 3% chance of dropping from the Alpha World boss of Verdash found right here on the map. So do what you gotta do here guys, and go get that loot. And there we have it people, new secrets hidden within the game that they didn't tell us about and while I hope this helps you out. If you did leave a like, it really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more power, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.